everybody, this is Raj from uh, Game Gorillas, and uh, I wanted to show this amazing little source code to you guys today. And it's based on, of course, you would have seen the image, it's based on the Crossy Roads game that has been extremely popular in the iOS and the Android store uh, in, in the past uh, couple of months. And the reason why this game is so popular is because these developers of Crossy Roads did a very nice thing and a very innovative thing. Uh, they took a, the concept of a game called Frogger, which was a hit game uh, in the 19, uh, I think 1990s in the arcade section, in the arcade era. And even today, a lot of people love playing that game because of the mechanics. So even though the style is new, but this kind of a gameplay is always loved by people. So this game and this code is now never going to get old. So even if you're seeing this video one year, two years down the line, this code could still do wonders for you. Now, let me not, not talk about this much. And, uh, and oh, by the way, before I start, I, I'm not sure if a lot of guys know about this, but the Crossy Roads guys have made about a million dollars in video ad revenues in the past 45 days alone. So, you guys get the idea. Now, let's go straight to the source code and its features. Now, all right, so this is the, let me just play this again. And, uh, all right, so this is the main loading screen. It takes about two two odd seconds to for the game to load. This is the number of jumps. This is the number of coins that we've collected, and these are the selections of the characters. Now, in the code that you'll get, uh, let me mention that only three characters are there, not all of them. But you can always increase the number of characters and the number of people, uh, or uh, you know, you can change. Uh, you can even put in-app purchases, which is not there. Uh, I would like to mention that it, this game does not have all the features of uh, uh, Crossy Roads. It just has basic uh, characteristics, but it, even then, it's it could be a very, very uh, good platform for you to build something like Crossy Roads on top of it. Uh, all right, so let me just select this character. Okay, I can't select this because I need 400 coins for this. Let me just play with this one only, all right? So... Let's start, and I can probably show you the ways that the character dies. Now, if I don't uh, move the character on time, this is what happens, and the character dies. Now, let's move ahead and start. Now, if you notice that the uh, landscape changes randomly, so whenever you play next time, it's never the same. Uh, let me kill the character. All right, let me just go there. Let me kill the character while on this. All right, so all right, so we guys was just sitting and probably uh, having fun with this game, and somebody just came up with the team that he's going to use this particle system. Of course, you guys can use anything that you want. You can remove this. Uh, you can probably put, uh, you know, birds flying around the character or anything at all. So the choice is yours. Uh, let me just again play. This is this was one way of dying when the character comes under the car. Now let's go. Okay, no, sorry, that was one. Let me just show you what happens. Okay, now you can see that the environment changed, and now we have the logs coming up. Okay, that's that wasn't cool. I actually swiped left. Okay, one second. All right, so let's see what happens when I. All right, so when I hit the car from the side my character basically gets, gets stuck onto it just like the crossy road style and uh, he just taken to the car now another way of dying is okay, okay. by these trains uh, let me just go ahead and stop it so as you can see yeah so these signals basically showcase that the train is about to come and when you can actually cross with the green lights so that's how it works uh, let me now show you, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the logs. And before I forget, the most important thing in the game is that you can actually... This game is not just landscape based, it is portrait based as well. And uh, uh, let me just show you while playing again. This is uh, iPhone tall, let me just play again. This game works perfectly fine on both the resolutions, that means landscape as well as portrait so your users have you know the option to just play with one finger and one touch and so that works perfectly fine now let me just try to go on the other side here 
if something comes now one more thing is if the user does not jump on the other log he's bound to get uh, killed automatically since he goes out of the camera area so that's another way so it's a pretty interesting game it's it's well made you know you'll be you'll have fun uh, working on the score you can just change the score and all these elements to anything that you want uh, is just simple good old uh, arcade game and uh, it's very addictive it's endless gameplay uh, and as we all know the endless gameplay gets you a lot of ad uh, revenue because the player just wants to beat his own score so you can use this as a base or you just uh, uh, use this code as uh, a complete code uh, and work uh, uh, work on it with your own theme you know make something in the kids theme anything that you guys want so excellent code uh, I'll probably just show you a couple of more things in it all right let's just go gold there all right yeah I think this was the part that was remaining so now that you've seen this as well and uh, that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy it have fun with it and let us know in case there are any questions at all just click the contact button and we'll be happy to help cheers guys take care